Alright guys, in today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to warp text into this shape. I'm using this image just as a guide for my warping. All I did was bring the image in and lower the opacity. I'm probably going to lock it so I don't accidentally move it while I am warping. So I'm just going to go over here, click on the layer, click the lock. Now I already typed out all the words that I want, so I got happy, day, and then Valentine's. I know that's not the normal order we say it in, but that fits better. So we're just going to make it work. First thing you want to do once you have your type typed out is select your layers and then right click and convert it to a shape so that you can actually use the warp effect. Now, once you have that, select one of the layers. I'm going to go with the word happy. I'm going to turn the other two text layers off or shape layers now. And then I'm going to go up here to edit and down to transform and to warp. All right, when you click on warp, this little box grid appears. It may or may not have the lines, and then you just kind of pull it into the area that you want. We are going to go and set this to default just to lower the amount of lines. The more lines you have in there like that, the harder it is to move them around. It gives you more control, but it does take a lot longer. So I'm just going to move these in. If you have any experience with the pen tool, you know how to control these little lines and anchor points, which is cool. I think I might have had this too far over. So I'm going to go ahead and try to slide it this way a little, maybe down more. We're going to ignore the black part and just treat it as one uh, lip. So we're just moving this around. And you literally just do this with the other three words as well. I'm trying to make sure I get the curve. I did this once. It took me a little while because of the end in the center. That can be kind of tricky. So we're just going to move the handles around. Do this pretty quickly. No need to be exact here. You can always take more time to do this. I'm going to go ahead and say that's pretty good. We're going to turn that off and turn... No, actually we're going to leave that on. We're going to turn the day shape on. This one might get stretched a bit much because that's a lot of space for one word. So we're going to position it about maybe right there. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have it tall enough. Anyways, we're going to go to edit. We're going to go down to transform once again and go to warp. Switch this to default. So go up to grid and switch to default if you want to see less lines and such. Like so. And we're going to pull this over. Now again, if you want more control, you can always do these with one individual letter at a time. Since I'm trying to make this a fairly quick tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and do each individual word at once. So once again, we're just kind of tweaking this here. See, this is going to start getting real stretched out so maybe we won't go all the way over we're just gonna adjust this a little bit it's just a template so we can do whatever we want with it we're gonna curve it out a little bit since the H is kind of curved out on the other side maybe something like this do we have the curve in the middle down well it's pretty decent we're gonna move this down a little bit and we're gonna say that's okay and we're gonna turn on the valentine's day this one probably needs to be shrunk a little bit oops didn't select the layer i'm gonna go ahead and hit Control t i'm gonna go ahead and hold down alt so it shrinks down from center and then i'm gonna hit enter or the check mark go to transform i mean go to edit down to transform and then warp and for some reason mine is still going to custom so I'm going to go up here to the grid and I'm going to go to default and then I'm going to start manipulating this one as well. I usually like to line the corners up first. Sometimes that doesn't work well. Sometimes it does. We don't want to go too crazy far over. Sometimes when you warp these they're going to look real messed up at first but once you start playing with the handles some more it'll, f it'll fix itself. Don't worry. Okay, I guess we'll do the bottom curve here a little bit more. We're going to pull the S up. Now, since I didn't go all the way over, that side might look a little different. We're going to have to take a look at it in a moment. The side letters are probably going to be less readable because of how I have to stretch them here. That's okay. We're thinking about this more as a shape and less as text. You can also pull the center if you want it to look like it's going one way or the other. The problem here is I'm warping them multiple directions. Sometimes it looks better if you try to make it look like it's being warped in the same direction. I'm going to move this over maybe a little. Move it up. Now I'm just being nitpicky. Now you can check this to see how it looks without the template behind it just by turning that layer off. You're going to want to hit enter first or the check mark. Turn the layer off and we can see that this side is okay. This side is kind of messed up. Now you can redo this. 
or you can add to it, I should say. So I'm still on the Valentine's Day layer. I'm gonna go up to edit, down to transform, and go to warp. And it doesn't undo what you did before. So what I need to do is kind of get this space in between here. Oop. Control Z that. It switched back to custom again. We're gonna disregard this and now we're gonna pull. We're gonna try to make it even. I think the S is a bit of a problem. We might have to stretch the word day more to get this to look better. I'm gonna return the template on and then adjust this a little bit. It seems to have turned off my transform. So we're gonna go to transform to warp and then continue. Yours shouldn't do the custom thing like mine is doing. I'm not really sure why it's doing that, but yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna do this and I'm gonna go ahead and show you one that I already completed just to save you guys some time. But that's pretty much the steps. You can keep rewarping it to make sure and then checking how it looks without the template and that will tell you if you're doing a good job or not. This is the one I just did a little bit ago. This one took me a little bit of time but I did this and then if some of the letters kind of got twisted I, I just used a layer mask because I cheated <laughs> and we're gonna disable it. And it's really just these tiny little specs over here that got kind of messed up because the anchor point kind of twisted but instead I didn't even pull it out I just used a little layer mess to cover it up so if we enable it I just erased it looks like I didn't hit the shadow but that's all I did anyways guys that's the basics of how to warp your text into a shape using Adobe Photoshop if you have any questions feel free to leave me a comment below and as always if you made it this far thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon bye